Hello everyone, this is Mr. Ramani here, and welcome to the third part of my tutorial on uh, Daggerfall. This time I'm going to be showing people how to get into the uh, uh, Dark Brotherhood, because this is something that's a little hard to do, uh, it can be a little frustrating. But uh, I really like the Dark Brotherhood, I think it has a lot of good quests, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to show people how to get in. So, there are uh, two ways you can get in. You can either kill three random civilians, or you can kill 15 guards. Uh, if you're powerful to enough 15 guards, I mean to kill 15 guards, go ahead and do that. But I'd kill the, the three random civilians. Uh, and maybe, and after, so here, let me just, right now, let me check the time. Yeah, I gotta wait for a little bit because uh, civilians aren't out yet. But anyway, so you're gonna you're gonna want to find three civilians and kill them. I guess I'll pause until I'm able to find some civilians. All right, so I had to travel to another camp town, uh, but yeah, so let's kill some civilians. You're dead. You're dead. And now the guards didn't come after you. Got to kill one more solo. And you're dead. Alright, so now you have different options. You can either try and fight off the guards or you could surrender to them. Uh, if you surrender to them, you could. You're gonna go to court. And court's a little complicated. There are different things that can happen. But basically, I would recommend fighting them off if you're powerful enough. If not, you can go to court. So I'll show you what happens if you have to surrender to them. So you're gonna get a, a fine and uh, days in prison. So you could try to plead not guilty. And you probably want to save before you, when the guards come after you, so you can keep you playing and finding out what to do to escape. You can either take take the chance and try and plead not guilty, and debate or lie, or you just plead, uh, plead guilty and take it. Uh, sometimes if you lie, they'll let you go. See, in my case, they found me guilty, so now I have to wait in prison and I have to take the fine. Um, but if you save before it, I'm pretty sure it's like just like chance. So just keep loading until you're able to... Uh, either kill the guards or if you're able to lie or debate your way out of it. Uh, but regardless, I'm just gonna wait the time out because it's just an account I made a show for the tutorial. Um, basically, you're gonna need to wait three days. So you should go to an inn, uh, just rest for three days, and after three days happen, this will happen. And since this, it automatically happened because I've been in prison for so long, uh, he's gonna give you a random note. If you, if you read the note, you will see, uh, it's gonna give you a place, you have, it's just gonna say, it's gonna give you a place, Cromwich Hill, and see this guy, and he'll give you further instructions. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go, and you're gonna, oh, and see, that's a note for the main quest, but anyway, could this not, okay, so, you're gonna find Crom, so this is my place, alright, now, Crom, See how to spell that again. Inventory. Use that. Crom Witch. Alright, so. And it's gonna be. It's random, so. You're probably not gonna get what I got. But so, yeah, you're gonna find a town that you wanna go to, though. You're gonna find the place that you wanna go to. You can travel there. And uh, once you've gotten there, you need to find the guy that they said in the note. So the way you want to do this is you're going to go around to civilians. If I can find a civilian, yeah, you're going to go around to civilians. And you're going to go to people, and he should appear. The guy that you're supposed to contact should appear there. So you're going to press that, and you're just going to go around to civilians until you can get a civilian to tell you where exactly he is. A ways, so see here, this guy told us Roderick's finest spices is where he is. So we're going to head west. And we're going to try and find uh, where this guy is. And along the way, I'd ask civilians. And also, M will bring up your... Or, well, M for me, but you can set it to whatever you want. And I don't know what it is for you, but uh, that's what it is for me. See? Now, we could go out a person to set it on the map. So you just want to explore around. Go to the directions they tell you until you're close enough that they'll show you on your map. Now, if we go to our map, we should find it somewhere. Somewhere near... Huh, it's weird. Let's see. There it is. 
All right, so it looks like it's very, uh, it's very much west of here. So I'm gonna pause the video until I arrive there. I mean the record. All right, so I'm back and I've arrived at the location uh, where I was told to go, which is here to find the person that we're going after. Uh, so enter a shop, and sometimes it might not be the shop owner; it might be a random residence. But uh, since this looks like the only guy in here, it's probably him. Let's see. Here we go. So he's gonna tell you basically. Either join the Brotherhood or be marked for death. Uh, then he's going to tell you you have to poison someone of this person in this residence of this city. You have amount of days to do this, and you have to report to this person in this place. So, now, it's going to be recording your logs, so don't worry. If you go to your log, it will record it down here. So, as you can see, it told us to go to Crosswold Borough. So, for you, you're going to go to wherever you went. Uh, which is going to be Daggerfall, obviously. So... Crosswood. Oh, that's weird. Let me check again. I probably spelled that wrong. Crosswalled. Crosswalled. Alright. So there it is. And uh, we'll travel there. I want to get there faster. I'm not going to camp, uh, camp out. Alright, so... Once you've arrived here, you're going to do the same thing you did before, essentially, to find the other people, but, uh, it's going to, um, uh, instead of going under people, the people, let me just turn this down a little bit. Yeah, so instead of, um, instead of asking about people, when you get into a dialogue with a person, you go to general, I'll show you in a second. So, if you go to general, that's where you're going to get the wooding residence. North is north of here, so again, you're just going to keep heading around, asking civilians on your way, following what directions they tell you to, until you get a civilian to mark it on your map. But then you can enter into it, uh, which I'll pause again until I've done that. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll pause until I've found it. Basically, you just, you just want to find civilians and uh, follow their instructions and try and get one to mark one on your map. Let's see if she'll do it. No, she didn't. So, yeah, just keep heading the directions I tell you from EOS North and uh, try and find a civilian uh, to mark it on your map. I'm going to pause until I'm able to do that. Alright, so after a little bit of asking around, not too hard, I was able to get someone to mark the residence that I need to go to on my map. Uh, so, after you've got a mark to your map, you're going to head over to that place, as for me, it's right up here. And it should be the house right over... Man, this music is fucking loud. Okay, so for me it's going to be this house, uh, so, yeah, so, in terms of the house, you probably want to go during the day, because the doors are usually, for me it's always been open during the day, during night it's, uh, it's locked, so anyway, yeah, so, someone should allow you to come in, anyway, so now you're going to search around the house, and you're going to be looking for something that looks like a potion on the ground, um, yeah, so we're just going to search around and look for that, I'll, uh, Try and search there, so that's it. That's what it looks like. You're just gonna search around the house till you find that. So you click on it, and the snake venom will mix with it once you pick it up. So then, what you gotta do is you gotta go to your inventory, select remove, and get rid of it so it places it back on the ground. So, anyway, it's as simple as that. Oh, guards are after me. They aren't too happy. Alright, 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 alright. Nope, I do not. Uh, so. Oh, shit. Oh my god, alright. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where am I gonna save? I'm gonna save here, I guess. Uh, what the hell did I do? Not guilty. Lie. Alright, so... Oh man, alright, so I'm gonna load that again, and uh, I'm just gonna try and plead guilty, and hopefully that'll work out for me. Banishment, that's good enough for me. Banished, yeah, why not? I don't even care about that town. So anyway, huh, so after that little incident, so now... Go to your log, after you've poisoned a person or whatever, and you're gonna have to, then you find where you have to report. Then go see this person in Warlek. So, same thing you always do. Warlek. Ah, shit, I always, I always spell this, these things wrong. Warlek. Okay, it's uh, spelled that way. Warlek. So, head over to where you're supposed to go. And, and you're not going to find citizens during nighttime, by the way, so 
uh, during nighttime, you're gonna want to do things like loiter or find an inn. Like I just found an inn. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna pause until uh, so you've seen the basic procedure. I'm gonna pause until until uh, I'm able to find this guy. Yeah. See you in a second. All right, everyone, I'm back uh, with a tutorial. I uh, was able to get someone to mark it on my map, and here's the house. Uh, so once you get into the house, it might not be there's. See, all right, so I found them really easily. They're gonna be dressed up like this. They're gonna be like in a dark brotherhood outfit, and uh, so you're gonna talk to them. They're basically gonna tell you you've been initiated. Uh, so that's how you complete your um, dark brotherhood uh, initiation. And after this. Uh, basically, you, there's gonna be guilds uh, in in the ba the main towns, not in all the towns, but in the main towns like uh, like Long Tree Field, there's gonna be guilds. So once you um, once you've got accepted in, in order to um, to get quests and things, whenever you go into a new town, it will automatically be marked on your map. So if you just searched, if if it's there, it will be marked onto your map. So if you just search around on your map. It's not going to be highlighted blue like all the other guys. It's just going to look like a normal big building, but it's going to be labeled with the Dark Brotherhood. And then uh, once you go there, there's going to be like a certain select portion of people. I'm going to go ahead and go there so you guys know uh, where exactly to go and what to do to get the quests. Also, if you're getting Fighter's Guild quests, like where you have to kill animals and things like that, instead of the Dark Brotherhood quests that you should be getting then that means you haven't installed Daggerfall with all the patches, and you need to watch my installation video. But anyway, um, so yeah, you should search around, and you should find it. Uh, I know where it is. It's up there. So I'm, I'm gonna basically pause until I get up there. Yeah, so be back in a second, guys. Alright, so I've arrived at the uh, destination. A map is what they look like, and you can go ahead and enter in. Those like guards are after me, and I don't know what they want this time, but, uh, yeah, basically, you're, there are gonna be multiple people. Uh, if you if you go to your uh, affiliations, you'll see your rank and your affiliation, which for me, the Dark Brotherhood Apprentice. Basically, um, each ten respect points that you get, which are basically every time you do a quest, you get five. You'll rank up, and every time you rank up, you can access new people, and you will unlock new quests to be able to do. So that's basically how it works. And the the quest guy is up. Um, if you go in this door. And you go over to this door, turn here, this is the quest guy here. So you can get a quest by doing this, and there's there's multiple quests available at level one. Uh basically, um yeah, you can you can uh, you can deny them. There's no there's no consequences with denying them, and they're randomly generated, so most of them involve going into uh dungeons. Most of them are randomly generated. Uh so yeah, every time you do two, you'll level up and you'll unlock new quests. It's pretty cool and uh You'll be able to use new things in the Dark Brotherhood. I hope you guys all have fun with the Dark Brotherhood. I hope this helped you. Remember that if you're getting Fighter Guilds quests instead of Dark Brotherhood quests, that means that uh, you need to make sure you've installed the version of Daggerfall that I uh, have in my install guide on my channel. Uh, if you're getting that Fighter's Guild quest deal. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped you. Uh, have any suggestions for things you need help with in Daggerfall? Leave it in the comments. Peace.